Mitzrayim. So he shall return Yahweh, he shall return you, Yahweh, to Mitzrayim in ships in a way which I said to you, uh, not again shall you continue or not you shall repeatedly or you will not ever, you know, to put it in our terms, you will not ever see uh, La Rota, see her uh, again. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, meaning again. Well, heat the Makar them. All right, so this is an in uh this is a intensive reflexive verb. In other words, you do it to yourself. If the verb is makah, which is what it is, which means to sell, it doesn't mean that you will be sold as uh King Jimmy had put it. You know, it you know, there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. However, the text is saying you shall sell yourselves there to your enemies. Right. So if we first off acknowledge the fact that you they're, they're selling themselves, they're not being put on on the stage and there's a, a auction going on for a mm-hmm. month or a, a, a sow, if you will. I don't want to use the other term, mm-hmm. but um, they're selling themselves. Mm-hmm. All right. So now let's if we analyze the transatlantic slave trade, because it was all good when, you know, saying we was in ships by New York. You know what I'm saying? It was all good when we were in ships. But now we're selling ourselves. Right. All right. So a lot of people like to say, well, Africans sold Africans. OK, let, let's let's entertain that thought for a second. Some there. Did Africans come to America to sell Africans? I don't think so. Even if America is spiritual Egypt, you know, if you know, as, as King Jimmy say, if uh, if we're in, in Egypt, you know what I'm saying, and America is spiritual Mizraim, did Africans sail to America to sell other Africans? No, the text says you shall sell yourselves there. Where? In Mizraim. So there's some things that aren't connecting there. All right. And the last thing that doesn't quite connect is to your enemies for servants and for slave girls without a buyer. Last time, like, I'm just saying, the last time that I checked, during the transatlantic slave trade, there were buyers. So this text is saying that, that you will go, go to a place in a fashion, in ships, in a fashion which I told you you'll never see again, and you'll push yourself for sale, but nobody's going to buy you. That, that automatically disqualifies Deuteronomy 2868 from having anything to do with the transatlantic slave trade.